Today on Trisha. What do you get when young kids decide to have children of their own? DNA drama. Are you seriously saying that you think Ashley slept with the DNA technician? <laughs> this is about the kids! I don't care! But what the hell are you doing? This year on our series, Kids Having Kids, we featured teen girls who came on our show to find out who the fathers of their babies were. He promised me that he would stay with me forever and that we would get married once the hard times were over. When he found out I was pregnant with my daughter, he didn't care. I was sleeping with multiple different guys. These teen mothers were desperate for help and emotional support. Didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know anything. I didn't climb on top of myself. I know that's for sure. <laughs> the potential teen dads seem determined to live their lives in denial. Do you argue about that? All the time. Mm -hmm. He has a tendency of throwing it in my face. There's still rumors going around that you done slept with somebody twice my age. So get the man tested. And families forced to take sides. You slept with how many guys? Okay, how many guys, many guys did you sleep I with? slept with has nothing to do with the DNA test. Before pet. Jimmy. The stories were dramatic. I ran away from home. I did drugs. Now, was there a time when you and another girl were pregnant at the same time? Both times. Both times? And some of the results were shocking. Today, a look back at Kids Having Kids, the series. Today on Trisha. affecting families across the nation kids having kids and the decision to have sex at an early age is thrusting teenagers into real life adult situations as is the case for my next guest Paige at just 14 years old she fell in love with this young man Richard well today at 19 years old she has two children two-year-old Malia and six-month-old Malachi <laughs> So two babies, which Richard now vehemently denies. Listen to this teen mom's story. I met Richard when I was only 14 years old. My life at home was very chaotic. I didn't see eye to eye with my parents. It was very rocky. When Richard came into my life, I felt like I needed him. He made me feel special and he showed me attention. When me and Richard broke up, I was devastated. I felt like he was my life. I felt like he was all I had. I was shocked whenever I found out I was pregnant. I was only 16 years old. Richard didn't care at all that I was pregnant. He was back and forth between another girl and me, and it made me sick. When I got pregnant with our second child, I was so terrified it was not planned at all. But I was ready to step up and be an adult and take care of my responsibilities, and I just wanted Richard to be able to do the same. Today, Richard tells people that these are not his kids. I'm tired of it. It is not fair to them. Richard is going to stop coming in and out of our lives. He needs to stop using me. We are parents now, and my children deserve the best life possible. They deserve to know who their father is. Now, I want all of you to know that someone else is here who also believes Richard needs to step up to the plate. Backstage is his very own mother, Jeannie, who says she's tired. <laughs> Sick and tired of doing Richard's job and is ready to confront her son. We'll talk to Jeannie later, but first, Paige, how old were you when you two got together? I was 14 years old. I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know anything. I had problems at home with my mom and my dad. I was looking for love. I thought Richard, that's who I wanted to be with. When me and Richard got together, he showed me everything. He showed me what love could be. Yeah. Now it's not nothing. After I have my kids, it's not nothing. I'm on my own. I don't have anything. How was he when he found out you were pregnant the first when time? When he found out I was pregnant with my daughter, he didn't care. He showed no feelings. He showed no emotions, no nothing. Did he go to the hospital with no, you? No, nothing. His mom, he didn't go to not one doctor's appointment, nothing. How did you get pregnant again by him? Just thinking he was going to stay around, thinking he was going to make my family complete. Does he have other children? How many children does he have in total? Four. Now, was there a time when you and another girl were pregnant at the same time? Both times. Both times? <laughs> what is this doing to you? It's tearing me apart. I feel low. I feel like I'm nothing. I feel like I keep going back 
to something that's not there. Now, you mentioned Jeannie, and she sounds like an amazing She's person very to have amazing. on site. She does everything for me and my children, everything. You really, you sound close. Yes, me and his mom is very close. Me and his mom talk about everything, anything. So, look, why don't you, I'm sure she said this to you as, a, as an older woman, why don't you just move on from him? She does tell me that. She tells me that constantly. I'm definitely ready to hear what Richard's take is on this whole situation. So, everyone, please welcome Richard to the show. Yeah. To every story. So, Richard, take me back to when you and Paige first got together. Was it a... How did you see the relationship? When we first got together, everything was good. We was gravy. Like, I, I loved her, but she also knew that I had a whole other relationship that I was in when I started talking to her. You understand what Right, I'm from the word go. Did you see it as something serious or just a fling? Or at just a at first, fun? it was a fling, but she grew on me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, she, she was a very beautiful person to be around. You understand? And were, you, I, were you old enough to settle down age 16? I was the pimp at 16. I didn't know what to do with myself at 16. I was still a kid myself. Yeah, okay, I get that. <laughs> do you think do you think Paige got that? Um, not really. So let me let's come to the children here. Do you think that Malia is your daughter? Oh yes, for sure. Oh you do? That is my daughter, yes. No doubt. No doubt. So why weren't you there during the pregnancy? Um, I was more so trying to make the other females were happy. And you're 21 years of age. Yes. You have how many children? I have four all together, claiming. 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 Is there something that, to use your words, you said, you know, at 16, you were, you, 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 you were a pimp, as you call yeah. it. Is there something written somewhere in stone that pimps don't use condoms, or...? I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, that, it wasn't that I didn't want to use condoms. It wasn't, it wasn't oh. my thing at the time. So, Paige says you doubt her son. Why? She got another, another guy tested, like... Where does that come from? Like, if, if it's my son, and you're okay. saying it's my son... Okay, but Richard, we done had that DNA test. Okay, but... We done but, had that. Uh, but, okay, but, that's but understandable, still hurts by the things you say to me, Richard. It really hurts. But that's hurt. understandable, but you can't expect me to do for him if I don't know if it's my son or not. I never asked you to do nothing for you my can't. kids. I never asked you to you do can't. anything. I asked you to spend time even, with my even, kids. Even the time, though. I can't just give up my time because you think he's my son. But you, you didn't give all your time to your daughter. You, you, I heard that your daughter still cries for daddy, so it sounds that's like... That's because we're not together at this point in time. If we was together, my daughter spent every it's not day. It's about us just, being together, Richard. It's just, about you being there like for your kids. Just talking, been talking recently. I've been here every day since we got back You've been, all right. Every day. How, how does it feel that your mum is the one being dad, if you like? He, she's the one that's there I mean, the my time. mom is basically just, she's helping me out. Not necessarily it's doing not it because she looks at... It's not it's, her I job. I understand that's not her that job, though. but I'm still her son. She's going to help me it whether, doesn't matter. whether okay, anybody so thinks it's right or not. Why can't you do it yourself? Why can't you do it for Malia? Why can't you do it for Malia? Why can't you do it for Malia? Why don't you act like I tried, though? Do you want to be with Paige? I mean, not right this second. We have a lot to work on. We got a lot of understandings we need to get across. Do you... Do you love her? Yeah, I love her. Are you in love with her? I'm still in love with her, yes. Do you... Away. Why do you hurt me? What do I like? Constantly what, what do going I really back and forth. You? Basically, you're, you're confusing not my girlfriend, me. It's though. not about me Hang being on, your girlfriend. Minute. Are you in love with two women at the same time? Of course, I love both my baby moms. I do because they have my kids. Why do you keep going back to her? Because she needs someone. She's always left alone. It's not like, about what I need. No matter how, no it's matter what, what, if it's me or somebody gonna, else. If but if you're going to keep her going back hurt, to her, then, then I'm she not, calls I'm me for help. You know what I mean? I'm not with that. I don't turn her down at all. Do you think she's needy and clingy? She's clingy. Yes. She's clingy. Yes, even as not being my girlfriend, she's clingy. I wanna, I, I've got to go to a commercial break in a minute, but I just want to ask you one quick question before we do. Mm -hmm. When you get back, because she needs you, mm -hmm. and you go back there, yeah. do you still have sex with her? I had sex with her last night. I mean, that's... <laughs> Did you... Did you use a condom? No. No. Oh. Oh. As you know, Richard's mom, Jeannie, no. is backstage. She's a poor <laughs> son's behaviour. Wow. When we come back, we'll hear from Jeannie and we'll get the results of both the DNA tests. Stay with us. <laughs> Up next... Do you want yeah. some dog actually doing that to her? What you're doing right now, would you want somebody doing that job? They will. Huh? Then, 
pregnant at 13. You slept with how many guys? Okay, how many guys many did guys you sleep I with? I slept with has nothing to do with the DNA. Before test. Jimmy. And later, this young mom is paying a price for her wayward youth. A month before I got pregnant, I was sleeping with uh, multiple different guys. When kids have kids. What are you going to do? Today on Trisha. Welcome back. Welcome back. We've been talking about kids having kids and giving us a more in-depth look into this reality is 19 year old Paige and I don't know whether I call you her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend mm. Richard what are how would you we, describe we're, yourself we're, we're friends friends with with benefits <laughs> uh, now Paige says she's devastated over Richard denying that he is the father of not what one child or both children one child just one child her son now Ironically, Richard's own mother, Jeannie, is here, and she's on Paige's side. Now, Jeannie says she's fed up with playing daddy to Richard's children, so let's bring her out. Welcome, Jeannie. Yeah. Richard, why? I don't get it. That's just it. You can't keep going back and forth in and out of these kids' life. You were raised better than that. I raised you by myself. I understand. By myself. I understand. I, I remember you at four years old watching me struggle saying, Mom, I'm going to get a job to take care of you. That's what you told me at four. Do you want your kids saying that to her? It's, it's not that, though. If I wasn't being there for you, who would be there for you okay, right now? Okay, let me ask you something. Right now, yeah, yeah, right now, son, you are being. If I would have dropped there and just left them alone, we'll But the thing is, right you now. need to continue it. Don't stop it. <laughs> Keep it going. That's the point here. Jeannie. And after today, when these results come out, if you don't, you're going to deal with me. I and you know it. it's not going to be it. Jeannie, let me, let me ask you something, Jeannie. Um, I, was, I was really shocked and amazed before the break when I asked um, if, you know, he said Richard's saying they're just friends. Mm -hmm. I asked when the last time they had sex. Last, last night. night. Did you use protection? No. So we could be sitting here doing this all again, again in another and again, nine and again. months. And at the same time, okay, yeah, it's his... Cover it up, shoot it up, do something. Yeah. Do something. I told you after Malia, don't you do it. You went and did what? Did it again. And you said you actually told Paige after, when? To, Malia, to get some birth, birth control. Don't you dare get pregnant again, period. So why didn't you get birth and control? And she got birth control and oh. took it out. Why? To have another baby by Richard. What, really? You, you, you decided to have another baby? What did you think that would do? I thought it was going to bring us together. Hello? Oh. That's my son. I love him to death. And I don't... I, but I'm a woman first. Yeah. And exactly. I've been that's a why woman. I always get put down is because you're a woman first. Thing is, woman though, first. I, what, what did that I tell mean? you? The first day what did that mean? Born. What did I tell why you? Why can't you just be a Lord. human being? Oh. Why not get the DNA test? I got it. Now, two years so later. So now what? Oh, two yeah. years later. For I told you day one. Oh, Malia. Both. I don't need it day one. I didn't hey, hear for the first the beginning, but when you now didn't, what? So you're saying he now did what? at first. He, he at denied very it first. first. And that's very now, let me rumor. ask you, did you ever think that... Rumor. I don't doubt just like none of my grandkids. So you didn't know that uh, Paige was with somebody else Not around that time? Not until the end of it. Oh. I, but I put it this way. Exactly. I, what did I... At first pregnancy and second pregnancy. By who? Oh. was my question. Oh, right from the word go. And what she said to you? Richard. That's okay, she but she to told me, she told me, no, it's not your child, it's, it's his child. So get the man tested. Get the man tested. I told you that or he you told got him you tested? That. Okay, it's still rumors going around that you done slept with somebody twice my age. But you know why I didn't. What are you saying, though? But you know why I didn't. How do I know this? Because you're you telling me this? Because you. okay. you're telling me this? You don't lie to me about stuff before. Y'all are parents now. Here's my thing, y'all are parents. These kids are the only one being affected by y'all not going <laughs> No, I get you. I'm with you on that one. That's the problem. Jeannie, do you think that's because of Paige, because of your past, because you said right at the very beginning of all this, you've had a really, really tough past. So I have a saying, when you're all at sea and you think you're drowning, you will cling you at the first bit of driftwood that comes by and you'll keep going yes. back to it. Yes, 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 yes. And you'll do anything yes. you need yes. to. This is this is about this is about kids having kids, not working through your own stuff and being adult enough to be, you know. And I mean, the thing is, they have support. 
How old were you when you had Richard? I was 17 with him. And 17, you were on your own? On my own, paying my own rent. Maybe you... <laughs> As... And Again. just like, that's why, yeah. I mean, this is like my child as well. I am your son. And, I, son. and every time we talk about this, this is just how I feel. This is how I feel every time. You, this Richard, so Richard is the bad person every You're time. Why? Malachi is person, six months old. Oh, so what? what? September 13th should be in there. Shall we find DNA, out? You shall have we find out? You should have got that. I asked you to take right DNA. Off the I asked you to take DNA. 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 Let's do it. Yes. Like Richard, yes. let's find let's out. Let's it. find out. Please. Okay, now. Malia first. All right. This is your daughter, Malia, first. You want to put all doubt to rest? Do you want to... I don't know what it says in that's here. That's my daughter. Do you, that's my baby. Do, you, do, you want, do you want to find that's out? That's my baby. <laughs> my baby. Yeah. You know something? You know something? <laughs> you, you said to your mum uh, be, about being a female... Maybe by doing the right thing. Do you want yeah. some dog actually doing that to her? Yeah. What you're doing right now, would you want somebody doing that to her? They will. Huh? Because that's what's going to happen. It will. It will that's repeat. Exactly it will repeat. Happen. Okay. Do you want to find out about her? Do you want me to open it, Richard? It don't make no difference. That's my daughter. That test ain't going to tell me nothing that I don't like, already know. Would you know. like me to open it? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay with you that I open it? Yeah. All right. I know. That's funny. <laughs> Richard, the DNA test determined that Malia is your daughter. We know that. We knew that. <laughs> right, let's find out with Malachi. And your mum is... Let me tell you. Yeah. So who wants to open this? You're the one with the doubts. You want to open this? Open it. Now, yes. can I get an apology yeah. for everything? Yeah. Now what? Now what? Can I get an what apology? are you going to do now? What are you going to do? Are you going to do? Is what somebody going to do what I'm going to say, Richard, that's not your son? What are they going to huh? say? They what can. are you going to do now? Like I said, what I only have doubts do because of the room. I want an apology. I'm sorry. I, but, she needs an but apology. But that's not, but y'all not understanding what I'm saying. She needs an apology. It still hurts okay. me to think that okay, you're saying to me really hurt me. Hey, hey, hey. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, Richard, Richard. Beyond y'all's relationship, yes. this is about that kid. Yes. I don't care. Yes. What the hell are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. This is what brought the relationship with me. And that's why... Jeannie, Jeannie. Jeannie. Okay, Jeannie. Listen, 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 listen. All right, and the other thing is, having unprotected sex still? Come on. Both but, of you, <laughs> get, get but use, but use some, listen, let me, on me. use, Perfect. yes, both of you, get some, get some birth control, have some control, so you choose, really choose, when you are ready to have a child. No more. I think he needs a hug right does. now. He needs he a hug right now. Come on. Come on. Are you happy now? Oh, he looks ecstatic. Coming up, pregnant at 13. You slept with how many guys? Okay, how many guys, many guys did you sleep I with? slept with has nothing to do with the DNA Before test. Before Jimmy. And later, this young mom is paying a price for her wayward youth. A month before I got pregnant, I was sleeping with uh, multiple different guys. When kids have kids. What are you going to do? Today on Trisha. As, uh, as part of our ongoing series, Kids Having Kids, I want to introduce you to my next guest, Ashley. When Ashley was just 13 years of age, she claimed she got pregnant by this guy, Jimmy. What? Yeah. But when she revealed her pregnancy to Jimmy and his mom, Diane, Ashley says Diane claimed the ultrasound picture didn't look anything like her son. <laughs> they both disappeared. Now, 
Since then, Ashley says raising her now four-year-old daughter, cute little girl Mercedes, has been a struggle filled with heartache and anger. So first of all, what I want to do is hear Diane and Jimmy's take on these accusations. Ashley is obsessed with me and would do anything to prove that I am her baby's father. That girl is nothing but a whore. I know for a fact there is no way my son is her baby's dad. When Mercedes was about two years old, we had a DNA test done. The results came back that I was the father, but I don't believe it. I heard from one of her own family members that she rigged that test. And it's even believed she's had sex with the DNA guy at the lab. Ashley will do anything to try proving that that baby is mine. I know she's using this baby to get back with my son. And she's causing trouble with my whole family. When the test comes back that I'm not that baby's father, I want Ashley out of my life for good. Oh my goodness, Ashley, what are you, what are you thinking hearing that, sweetheart? It just, it upsets me because the fact that we've already had one. Yeah. And he still doesn't accept her and he thinks that I would sleep around. I mean, he doesn't have a job, so if I wanted someone to be my child's father, I would at least say it's someone who had a job. I mean, it's part of the So take me back, Ashley. You were just 13 years of age when you fell pregnant. How, 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 what, what happened? You know, it was just, I thought it was everything. You know, I thought he was what I was loving. You know, I thought it was love. Did and he promise you things? Yeah, he did. He What's promised he me that he would stay with me forever and that we would get married once the hard times were over. And you were just a little girl. Yeah. And I think I was, things were pretty difficult yeah. with you, for you at home. Yeah, it was, it was actually for really hard at home. So, you know, I you know, looked for that love and I found it in the wrong spot, obviously. <laughs> and you're doing it on your own. How was it at school, you being pregnant at school? Um, well, I was the first middle schooler to be pregnant in middle school, so, and I was in eighth grade, so it was really hard. Like, I told the school not to tell no one, and until I got bigger, so I could tell everyone myself, and they told everyone anyways because they said they needed to take precautions so I wouldn't get hurt. And my eighth grade graduation, I ended up walking the stage with the rest of my class, but everyone was clapping until I walked the stage. As soon as I walked the stage, everyone gasped. So where was Jimmy this whole time? Jimmy, I honestly, I don't know where he was or what he was thinking, but I was... Did you tell him? I did pregnant? tell him. I told him I was pregnant, and when I told him I was pregnant, it was when he had told me he had another girl pregnant that was three months and he was a girl. What does his mum think of you? Well, we heard a little bit, well, but has she been helping the situation? No, she hasn't been helping the situation. She has been egging it on and bringing more stuff into the situation than she should. I think she should just stand there and be a grandmother instead of putting more stuff into the situation. <laughs> Jimmy's family thinks the same way because we've got Angel here in the audience and, and Angel, what's she been? Has she been supportive to you? She has been supportive. She has helped me. She's let Sadie's come over for Easter. She did an Easter egg hunt. So let me talk, let, let's talk to Angel then. Angel, it sounds like your name sounds pretty appropriate in this situation. <laughs> Do you think Mercedes is your brother's little girl? Most definitely. He needs to be a dad. He needs to... He needs to quit having. He needs to quit having babies if he can't be a dad. Yeah. He, uh, she needs to be a grandma. My dad needs to be a grandpa and accept this child and uh, come or come around the baby's life. But how, how do you Let, feel about your brother? How do you feel about your brother and your mom saying these things? I don't like it at all. The DNA test was rigged because what? She slept with the DNA technician. Yeah. yeah, they said I slept with the DNA technician. You slept with the DNA technician? She slept with the DNA technician, they say. Um, there was, it, there's no way. She looks just like me. She's got her red hair like me. Yeah. And they tell me I'm wrong, uh, I'm right, and I will let my family go for this baby. Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I understand your little girl, Mercedes, is four. Yes. She picks up the phone. She just dials random numbers. Why yes, does she do she, that? She called her, she asked for her dad once. She had called her grandparents and asked for her dad, and they had said that he wasn't there. Well, now she's, she knows that she can call her dad, but she doesn't know why she can't. And one night she Has grabbed she the house him? phone. She's, she's seen him, I'd say, twice since she's been one. But so she just picks up the phone and she's trying to ring she daddy? She picked up the phone and she tried to call, dial numbers. And I mean, the first time she dialed, it was like three numbers. And she hit talk and kept asking, can I talk to my daddy? Can I talk to my daddy? Oh. And it hurts. Heartbreak. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. And it hurts. And she, then when she, I told her, oh, maybe he's sleeping. That's why you can't talk to him, because he's sleeping, you You're know? You're covering for him. Yeah, because I don't know what else to say right now. I mean, I can't tell her that he's acting up and that, you know, so what do you want to happen? <laughs> I really don't.
Dad and step up. Yeah, I really just want him here. Yeah. I don't want him. I don't want him at all. You don't want him? No, I don't want him at all. You I just want him to be a dad. Yeah, I just want him okay. to be a dad. I have a love of my life right now. Thank you. Thank you. All right, when we come back. When we come back from this special edition of Kids Having Kids, we're going to meet Jimmy and his mom, Diane. And we will get to the results of the DNA test. So stay tuned. Up next, are you seriously saying that you think Ashley slept with the DNA technician? The Terrible DNA test was tampered with. He slept with the DNA test. And later, this young mom is paying a price for her wayward youth. A month before I got pregnant, I was sleeping with uh, multiple different guys. You are the fire. Get off my stage. When kids have kids. What are you going to do? Today on Trisha. Okay, we've been talking to Ashley, who claims that this guy, Jimmy, got her pregnant when she was just 13 years of age. Now, Jimmy and his mom, Diane, say Ashley is obsessed with Jimmy and both completely deny he's the dad. Now, this apparently has caused a real feud in Jimmy's family because Jimmy's sister, Angel, here, claims she knows her brother Jimmy is the father of four-year-old Mercedes, and she's pretty ashamed of her family's denials. Now, we'll have the results of a DNA test in a moment, but first, let's hear their side of things. Please welcome Jimmy and Diane. <laughs> You sleep around everybody, and you say that he's the father? Yes, he is. Yeah, that's a joke. Have a seat. So, Jimmy, you were staying with uh, Ashley's family. You obviously had unprotected sex together. Yes. And she's pregnant. What confuses you about you have unprotected Plus sex? many other men. Okay, but many other men. At 13. At 13. At 13, yes. Many you other know men. What? Your son was very protective over me. My son wasn't me. the only one, no, actually. There was, was many very other men. protective over me. If and you I wanted that to go to the back. bathroom, he wanted to know where I was going. If I went to the kitchen, he wanted to know where I was going. Is it true that you've already had, you've had a DNA yes, test, a state ordered court? State. There was her family that came and approached <coughs> me saying that they, her and her both knew people in the DNA test area. Oh, uh, so, so are you seriously saying that you think Ashley slept with the DNA technician? Yes, there was a you family member of that hers that approached us. If that was the case, I, I would find that. someone with a job. A family Your member of hers your job. that approached us. It doesn't take just oxygen to feed a baby. It's it's the, to take the care the of a The DNA test was tampered with. He slept with a DNA stack. Hang on. And that Jimmy is not the father of this child. Do you think she looks anything like your family? What do you think, Diane? No, no, she doesn't. She looks like one of the uh, people back in her hometown. Let me tell you what happened, because we get notes on all of our guests, and I had some pictures. I hadn't even read the background story, and I spent a long time going through everybody's notes. And I said, well, this is a family. What's the problem? I, I'm sorry to say this to you. I didn't actually think the little picture of Mercedes was your daughter. I actually <laughs> thought it was your daughter, Angel. <laughs> and Woo! She looks so much alike. Well, then maybe you're the father. No. Maybe I'm the father. If this DNA test... Be a grandma, be a grandpa. Okay. Unless she's happy. You're not like grandpa. Sure. Be be there. Step up, right? You're going to be a grandma after today when it says, yes, she is? If it's a, sli it's a slim chance there that it no is. There ain't no slim chance. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? How many guys have you slept with? No slim chance. Be a grandma, be a dad. Yeah. Before we go on, before we go on about how many guys has she slept with, we know for a fact that your son was sleeping with two girls at the same time. No, Sorry? I, I said I'm not innocent. No, you're not innocent. You know, I know that for a fact. I'll admit so, it. You, you know, know, as a mother, I think, personally saying, I'm going to look at my own children's behavior before I start casting stones at other kids. I don't know what the DNA test will say, but here's my worry. If we do a DNA test and it comes back and it says, Jimmy, you are the father, yeah, you're going to say, oh, it's going to be tampered with, oh, you know. No, I'll be right there in the kid's life. Are you going to back my brother up, though, as, as a mother? 
Are you going to back my brother up? Yes, because I... And, and get along with Ashley. She's a child. Oh, no. I don't, have to, I don't have to associate mom. with I Ashley. Get along with this one. I have all legal rights over her. She is my child. Your son had the chance to get joint custody, but he didn't show up to the hearing, so oh, I have all custody. You didn't show up. You didn't show up. I have all custody. You didn't show up. I can't. I was in state court. Oh, okay. Okay. I have all custody over her, so if you don't want to deal with me, then that's your problem. Because she is my daughter, I have full custody. So where she goes, I go. Well, you ain't going to my place. God. You ain't so, going to my house. Let's get. So here are the DNA test results. Um, who wants to. You want to open this? Do you want to open this? No, you can open it. I will open it. Because so I don't tamper with it. No, you know? yeah, because you might say she tampered with it. I might it. tamper yeah. with it. And so I haven't slept with it. any DNA people in. <laughs> the DNA results determine that shock of shock, Jimmy is Mercedes. <laughs> Your daughter had to go through this. Really? You didn't know I'm not. Oh, well. Give me So. So, hang on. Can she get an apology? I can't say that when everybody's Hang on, just a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The apology needs to come from you, Jimmy. I'm sorry for accusing you of tampering with the test. And? For not being there for a, for a human being that you brought into yeah. this world. I'm sorry for not being there when it took two of us to make the baby. It yes, it did take two of us. I didn't climb on top of myself. I know that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, mother to mother, Diane, do you think you are a good role model for your granddaughter, no. Mercedes? No. Not asking. Daughter, hey, I am. They say I'm not on this one, but, no, but because nobody knew for sure. How do you not know for sure? It's a DNA yes, test. You slept with how many guys? Okay, how many guys, many guys did you sleep I with? slept with has nothing to do with the DNA Before test. Before Jimmy, and then around the same time. To do with the DNA Your family said it was tampered oh, with. Oh, your family, your family, you're all hot, Diane. Everyone's family has, hot, family hey, has a crazy person. Okay, to me, if, if there were other men who took advantage of her, as a woman who cares about other women, I would be more on the case of the guys who took advantage of her than the kid at the end. But that's just me. Um, Angel, it sounds like you've been a good auntie, and I'm sure you're going to continue. I will be forever. You will be forever. To each and every one of them. Um, so you, you need to work out what you're going to do as far as your little girl is concerned. All right, sweetheart? Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. You work on yourself. Be the best mum you can do. Any extra education, any extra courses. I'm already in college. So. Good. <laughs> good. Okay. Up next, she was a wild teen. I ran away from home. I did drugs. And then you got pregnant with Carson. Was that a shock or? I was scared. Now, this young mom is paying a price for her wayward youth. Who's the dad? How many men were on the scene? A month before I got pregnant, I was sleeping with uh, multiple different guys. <laughs> When kids have kids, what are you going to do? Today on Trisha. We've done shows about teen girls making bad choices, and my next guest's story is a cautionary tale of the consequences that come from this type of wild behavior. Now, this is 18-year-old Felicia. Felicia regretfully admits that at the age of 14, she began abusing drugs, drinking alcohol, and having sex. 
But reality quickly set in for Felicia when she became pregnant with her eight-month-old son, Carson. Yeah. And Felicia's been left not knowing if her boyfriend, Dean, is Carson's father. So here's her story. I was 17 when I became pregnant with my son, Carson, and I was sleeping around with four different men, and one of them being my boyfriend, Dean, and I don't know if he's the father. I admit I was an out-of-control teen. I had no self-respect for myself. I started having sex at 14 years old, and by the time I dropped out of high school, I was known as a town whore. I admit I began abusing drugs and alcohol. I started smoking weed, and I was high all day. I was uncontrollable. Reality set in when I got pregnant with my son, Carson. I knew I had to clean up my act, not only for myself, but for Dean, because I didn't want to lose him. I believe Dean hasn't been able to forget my past. He throws it in my face all the time. He always tells me that Carson's not his, and I'm hoping the DNA test can prove that today so we can move on and be a family and be happy together. So we've given Dean and Carson a DNA test, and we'll have those results in a moment. But first, Felicia, you, you were an out-of-control teen. You admit that. Yes, I was. I had no self-respect for myself. I didn't listen to my parents. I didn't go to school when I was supposed to. I didn't mm. do anything I was supposed to. I ran away from home. I did drugs, everything that I shouldn't have done. And then you got pregnant with Carson. Was that a shock or...? I was scared. Who's the dad? How many men were on the scene? Um, when... A month before I got pregnant, I was sleeping with uh, multiple different guys, but around the time I got pregnant, there was only two, which was Dean and the one other person. So, how do you feel about Dean? I love him. He's my world. He really is. I care about him more than anyone. And is he, is he a good daddy to your little boy? Yes, he is. He's perfect with him. But there's this big question mark about Dean yes. being daddy. And do you argue about that? All the time. So, what's going to happen if the DNA test comes back and says that Dean isn't Carson's daddy? I'm going to hurt. All right, so before we get the results of the DNA test, I think it's important that we hear how Dean feels about not knowing if Carson is his son. So, Dean, come on out. <laughs> so, Dean, you seem to be almost the knight in shining armour. Almost. Almost. <laughs> how do you feel about that little boy? I love him. Only yeah? death. And how do you feel about Felicia? I love her to death. So who wants to open the envelope? Well, I'll let her do it. Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay. I don't know what it says, Felicia. Coming up, how long will her past continue to haunt her? The DNA test determined that Carson... Whoa! You are the star. When kids have kids, what are you going to do? Today on Trisha. I was 17 when I became pregnant with my son Carson, and I was sleeping around with four different men, and one of them being my boyfriend Dean, and I don't know if he's the father. I started having sex at 14 years old, and by the time I dropped out of high school, I was known as a town whore. I admit I began abusing drugs and alcohol. I started smoking weed, and I was high all day. I was uncontrollable. I believe Dean hasn't been able to forget my past. He throws it in my face all the time. He always tells me that Carson's not his. What's going to happen if the DNA test comes back and says that Dean isn't Carson's daddy? I'm hoping we stay together. Yeah. I want to stay with him. Are I you love scared him. that maybe you won't? I, I, there's that thought, like, I am scared. How do you feel about that little boy? I love him. Shall we get the results? So who wants to open the envelope? Well, I'll let her do it. Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay. I don't know what it says, Felicia. The DNA test determined that Carson is your son. Yes, you can keep that. There you go, look at that. 
go. All right, well, you better go and see him. Is he back there? Hoping. Yeah, thank you. Go see your son. Thank you. Thank you. All right, see you. Uh, okay. When kids have kids. What are you going to do? Today on Trisha. Do you know a teen girl or a teen boy who is in need of a DNA test for a child? Maybe your teen son is being accused of being the father of a baby and you want to uncover the truth. Well, if so, give us a call at 1855 for Trisha or visit us on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.